What's up, everyone? Welcome to Welcome Laguna Beach. To another travel video. Or Newport. Or Newport. Or Newport, yeah. Newport Beach. It's like Newport slash Laguna. Um, we are visiting with our friends, Elaine and Clayton. Yes, we are. We haven't seen them in almost a year, like 10 months. Yeah. We were supposed to see them over summer. We we're going to meet with them in Europe, remember? And then your parents decided to come to Europe early. Well, didn't they come to um, Nashville? La we were here a year ago, but then they, they came. They were in Nashville before that. It was before that? Yeah. Oh my god, how weird. Yeah, yeah. So we were here We were here last April for like Coachella and stuff. Yeah. And then um, we were supposed to see them over summer. But your parents came to Europe early, so we decided to do hang with your parents since they never come to Europe. Right. And then Delaney Clayton came home early. I remember For that. some family stuff. So yeah. that that trip with them got kind of messed up or canceled. And then this is like the next time. So yeah. it's gone by fast though. We were all surprised that it's been that long. I know. Um, but they live in Newport Beach. Yeah. And we are coming out here actually for a wedding in Palm Springs. But we were like, let's come out a little bit early, see them. Because we just don't know when this baby comes, how much traveling we're going to be able to do. So yeah. we're like, let's get the trip in Knock it out. while we can. And we always love spending time here because it's so beautiful. And we like to get to see them and um, hang out. So we're going to hang here for a couple of days before we go over to Palm Springs. Yeah, the Palm Springs wedding is of a family friend of Julia's family. So it's like we're going to go and meet with her parents in Palm Springs. And it's going to be like family friends. Yeah. We're like, let's just hang out with some some of our own friends here in Newport Laguna since it's close. And we're going to be out here anyways. Yeah. So we're going to do that for a couple of days. And we're going to like enjoy. We're just going to go eat, have fun, hang out. Good yes. vibes. It's sunny here now. It wasn't supposed to be sunny. It was supposed to be a kind of like I know. Cool Everyone's wet, like, so. it's storming and you don't want to come here and everything, but the sun is shining today, so we're very happy about it. We're about to get outside. I mean, it's cool. It's like yeah. 50s, but... We didn't come here okay. for the sun. We came for a wedding, but despite the weather, I mean, it's like, yeah. whatever. We did think it was a warm weather trip. Um, Like, I was buying bathing suits and stuff. Well, mostly for Palm Springs, but... It's actually not as warm as mm -hmm. it probably normally is here, but that's okay. We're still happy to be here, and it's still California weather. Right. You really can't beat it, honestly. I don't care what time of year it is. Or it's like food. more the food and just the lifestyle. It's just a vibe. So, anyways. It's um, Sunday, and we're just chilling. I went to F45 this morning. Julia's doing her makeup. We are getting dressed, and we're going to go on like a little walk to a park. Yeah, I think hang out, do some lunch, see what we get up to today. Shop around this. Next and I kind of want to go to the Lido Village place and like shop around. Yeah. Um, they Wait, have really cute like stores and stuff, and cute shopping. Nashville doesn't have the best shopping, so I like to shop when we're here. We were in and out burger. We got frozen yogurt last night. They don't have frozen yogurt in um, Nashville. It's like literally the saddest thing ever, and I love frozen yogurt so we got last night and i'm like i want it every night while we're here because i just don't know when i'm gonna be able to get it again and it's so good so that was fun um but yeah we just got in last night so we just kind of went to dinner went to sleep and today is day one so isn't it sad when you pack your stuff like this you put so much energy in your packing and then you're like what the hell did i bring you're like why did i pack any what of this what the f did i bring and you spend so much time worrying about it when you're there and then it's just ridiculous well, like today, I want to wear like sweats to be comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's like Sunday. Sunny. It's sunny, and I want to be like in I want like some sun on my skin. Yeah. So you want to wear shorts? Is it like warm enough to wear shorts out? You think? Yeah. For okay. Sure. For sure. They made breakfast for us this morning. Oh, so good. It was so good. It was just like rice bowls, like rice, white rice, egg, and um, crunchy garlic. Spicy, crunchy yeah, garlic. Yeah, so good. Yeah, that was good. Like super, just chill, nice, light. Yeah, fresh, it was yummy. nice. Breakfast. Delicious. So, we're just getting ready, and we'll see what we get. We're gonna go for an in and out run, which is gonna be superb. And then we're gonna go to the park. Play Little some walk, board games. hang out yeah, in the sun. Little... I know it looks sunny, so it looks like I'm like oddly bundled up, but it's a little bit crisp, so getting bundled. Show your pants, those are cool. I got these pants from Shop Red Dress. Kind nice. Of like free people pants. Like high-waisted? Yeah, they're really comfortable. Nice. I got them for like pool wear, but they're nice like Sunday lounge pants. Cozies. Uh-huh. Say hello. Blending hello. Clayton. <laughs> Just hold that. Beautiful. 
Oh yes. Stunning. Stunning. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. in yesterday and just been kind of hanging out and stuff but we wanted to to you guys along for a full day today because we're going to Nobu tonight and we're gonna do a little shopping yeah. we're like spending like a full day in we want to so. drive around and look at some of like the Laguna houses just from like the outside yeah the beach houses for inspo it's nice to like some of the renovations and new builds and stuff we're doing getting so many ideas. to get inspo from other parts of the country that you can kind of incorporate and stuff like that so yeah just fun to look at houses we love looking at house stuff so and we love Southern California well, Hunter always and I always say one day we hope to have like a place here or get to live or here. Spend at more some time point. here at some yeah. point. Yeah, we love so, SoCal. So fun. We do love it. Just so relaxed. I feel like the people here are chill. It's just a relaxed environment. The weather is, you can't beat it. It's always green, all the citrus trees. I know. It's just beautiful. It's the best. Um, I think we're going to go get breakfast. So we're just trying to get dressed and get out the door. I'm already like feeling a little like tired from the travel. Yeah. Well, the the time change has been different because right when we stay up till ten o'clock here, that's staying up till midnight. I know. Nashville, but and I'm getting up at like six here because it's eight a.m. in Nashville. I know. So, I just want to make sure we don't like get sick or anything. I brought these little packets from Armra. Yeah. They're Armra. like immune packets, so I think we should take one of those just to get ahead of it. It's um, immune revival. Armra. It's a palindrome. Oh, nice. it is, huh? <laughs> you know me and my palindromes. Okay, you guys know how we've been about our health game lately. So, um, especially when traveling, like I'm not messing around when I'm pregnant. I don't want to get like the flu or get sick or anything. I was for like sick the first trimester and it was miserable. So I'm just like trying to be extra careful. Um, so you know I'm like really into taking my immunity supplements, my prebiotics, probiotics. Like when I travel, um, Armra is like a new dairy superfood that I've actually learned about. It's a colostrum. And she's been taking it. Really likes it. This is my first time trying it so i'm really excited the reason i like it it's actually it says it can be like some studies have said it can be up to like three times more effective than the flu vaccine which i do not have it's recommended to get when you're pregnant um but i didn't want to get it so this is just a little bit more of a natural option natural approach um and it's really just like an immunity supplement in general it fights against a lot of inflammation which, mean, which is great for me this autoimmune kid over here we're yeah. really trying to fight all the inflammation that we can um it's really good for your skin um gut health everything it's just oh, it's flavorless. overall yeah this nice. one's flavorless but they also have really good flavors too um so just another superfood to kind of work into the routine which has been really awesome cheers cheers do you usually sip it or do you drink it all i just like chug it Sometimes I'll put it in just like a shot of water. They call it like liquid gold. Basically, after like mammals give birth, it's like a certain like thing they produce and they like extract it. Oh, really? And then, yeah. So it's really good for you. It's like how they say like breast milk is really good to like cure exactly. things. Exactly. A lot of y'all said when I had my eye problem that if Julia's milk had come in to put some like a drop in my eye, I thought that was like a joke, but y'all were serious. Kind of same vibe. And I've like looked it up and it's like supposedly really good. It's probably like the similar type yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, easy i'm gonna do that every day yeah anyways i will leave the information in the description box down below if you guys want to do any research or look into it just really good supplement for all overall immunity gut skin hair all sorts of health and everything kind of like a collagen type of vibe mm -hmm. um you can think of it similarly it's in that. different than a probiotic you could put, put it in your coffee um in any beverage or just like put it straight in your mouth it's really easy to it's take. probably good when you travel too like when you're like on planes and stuff around yeah. like some different sicknesses i was kind like, of disgusted when i'm traveling lately i know and i feel like too it's like helped me with my energy through the second trimester like it's obviously safe to take when you're pregnant always a consult with your doctor if you're you know looking into it um just it. to make sure but that's the biggest thing that i've noticed because my energy has been pretty good the second trimester which i've been surprised by so but check out Anyways. armra thank you again for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's hop into the vlog let's hop into let's the day well we're in corona del mar right now but we're headed to laguna we're gonna look coffees. around grabbing some coffees gonna hang out we're gonna go get some breakfast we're stopping at zinc in corona del mar we got delaney up front clayton ran in to get the coffees um, Y'all come here a lot, Delaney? To Corona Del Mar or to Zinc? Zinc. Yeah. yeah, they have like... a really good breakfast burrito. Oh, is this the one you were oh, telling us about? The no, the where actually the breakfast burrito is like just down the road a little bit here okay. at that Rose Cafe. It's mm. so good. Yum. It's like really, really simple. This one is like less simple, 
also really good, but sometimes I just like the simple. Yeah, like simple, but yeah. super good. Yes. Yeah, we're that's, excited. That's great. So yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast burritos. We're gonna get some coffees. We're gonna hang out. Just have a great day. It's gonna we're gonna take great. you to all of our food adventures. It's gonna be like a day of yeah, food tour. Yeah, we're basically like on an eating tour. Mm -hmm. Food vloggers. Pretty food much, because like, it's not super sunny, so we're like, what, what else, else is there to do? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, which one do I take? I feel like I'm at, I feel like I'm at Sonic. That's, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Should roller we get some rollerblades? Roller What's up, y'all? This one's almond. Welcome to Sonic. Almond. And oats. Oats with the espresso. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Is it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. There's a stir. Thank you. I noticed Clayton and I say turmeric differently. Yeah, we don't know what the right way is, but the way that it's spelled is turmeric. Like with yeah, an R. I've always said turmeric. Yeah, we used to say that, and I don't know which one is right. Probably either. What does Hunter say? I say turmeric. 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 And I, I feel like that's like, what I hear the most. Yeah, and it's people like say easier. Like it makes. But is it spelled T U R? Yeah, yeah. Turmeric. It doesn't like roll off the tongue as well to say turmeric. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't. Turmeric sounds. Turmeric. Kind of better, but. Stopping for a breakfast burrito at Rose Bakery Cafe. All that I crave when you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness. How is she? Superb. Which one did you guys get? I got the vegetarian. The salsa is so good. I got the same one as y'all, but it has bacon in it. You like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Burritos were a success. Now we're off on a little walk. Imagine living in one of these houses and just like looking out to the water. It's so cool. Now we're on Balboa Island. Balboa Island. Walk into a little coffee shop, Huskins Coffee. You said you haven't been here yet? I haven't been here, no. I think it's like Australian. They're from Australia. Good eye, mate. <laughs> Good eye, mate. <laughs> There's a lady with two other big over here. I'm two moms. They both have that baby. I think I was swinging back to that direction. And you get baby. Mm. And in the best net school. I know, it's so cute. I think Joy might ask her how she feels about it. Oh my god. I'm telling her to put the pressure on Joy to be bold and just ask. Joy hates stuff like that. I know. She's nervous. I'm gonna be in the mood. We were way off. It's not Australian, it's Canadian. Oh, you guys said Australia? A boot. <laughs> what you talking about? She said that the maple syrup was from the farm in Canada. That's what said. No, I know. Said. No, but, but when we, we walked, walked in, we thought I told maybe him it was Australian. Oh, I see. I see. I misled, I misled everybody. I will be the first to accept. It's like the Dumb and Dumber scene where he's like, Oh, I was way off. Austria. Good I might. I'm taking my prenatals. Prenatal gummies? Mm -hmm. You ever try those, huh? No. I might, like I might start fruit, lactating. Fruit gummies. I think there's lactating gummies, but well, you know what's not. funny is um, our next appointment at the doctor is like a glucose appointment or like a not it's a glucose, but it's they do something inside of you, right? Glucose test, yeah. But she has to drink this like fluid, and it's like it looks just like a little water bottle, and it's been sitting on our counter. And every day I'm about to take my medicine, I'm like, oh, a water bottle, and I reach for it, and it's like pure sugar, sugar, glucose. No I'm like, thank God I. One one night it was like dark or morning and I almost Ooh, grabbed so it. It's like thank God. She's mm -hmm. a bottle of sugar. Yeah. Cold here. Listen, well, ladies, I know, I know I'm gonna get asked about this handsome looking shirt I have on. So I'll just go ahead and tell y'all it's once again my favorite brand off ASOS it's called Collusion. I thought it was Brixton. Where can we do pottery? There's a place over here. Oh, it's Collusion. It's Collusion. Wait, it does. It does kind of give Brixton vibes because it almost yeah, looks like, like, like a skater, like skateboarder, surfer shirt, but. It's like a knit sweater vibe. Loose, comfortable, airy, nice for like nice sunny day out with like breezy weather. Yeah, it's like cool, but the sun's been poking out a little bit. Yeah. We haven't got too bad here. Um, I'm just wearing like athleisure and then I threw one of Delaney's coats over so it looks a little bit more put together. I'm also liking this hat brand, this golf brand called Waggle. Mm -hmm. and all their hats have an animal. So this, <laughs> I'm wearing the cock hat right now. Oh my god. Amazon zip up Viore uh, pants. These are 
Delaney's Adidas, which I really want to get actually. So I'm testing them out and giving, giving them a test drive. And then one of her coats, because I didn't want to pack a ton of coats because they're so bulky and heavy. So she was like, you can wear coats of mine. Um, and then my little Bottega pouch, it's actually pretty cute. A little comfy outfit. Well, you love this place, I like it too. But I highly recommend it. I've, I've just been eating so much fish lately and I want so some fresh fish by the sea in a good burrito. You know, you can't beat it. You can buy stuff from the little market too. Oh my god. It's like heaven. You cannot get this in Nashville, that's for sure. I want like a thing like this in our new kitchen where it's just like fresh fish always on display. I mean, we eat enough fish now lately where like we could. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. We wouldn't actually do that, but it's kind of a cool thought. What are you gonna get? Oh shit. Ugh. What are you getting? A burrito? breakfast. I know. All right, we got our food. So yummy. And I got a fish burrito. We got some fish plates. Rice and veggies. We got so pretty. Black and cod. Yeah, I'm excited. <sighs> Successful lunch. My stomach is full. You ended up de burritoing your burrito. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hunter, plate. Nothing like Hunter ordering a burrito and then making it a making plate. Making it a plate. You're like kinda of picky maybe. It wasn't it wasn't from a picky standpoint. It was realizing I had breakfast burrito. Right. And tortilla and then I was eating so much I don't know. I'm just trying to You're kinda of like you have like narcolepsy when you go to order. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Kind of like, kind of like, uh, Freak don't out. think it through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking around police walker, shopping around a little bit. Or jujus. It's mostly women stuff. It's like um it's like designer stuff. It's fun to see everything in person because it's not you stuff, right? Usually look online. No. It's like all new. It's like forward by Elise Walker. I like this bag. I've, I've had my own this for a while. Huge loves bags. I love bags. Okay, I guess I'm also gonna buy for my favorite. Too big. That's a really pretty necklace. Maybe a fun push present. Mama. All right, she found it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't. It's hard to do things See? with this stomach. And my hair's oh, caught in it. Yeah, so I was gonna ask you to help me. There you yeah. go. Oh, that's really that is cute. cute. It's cute. Is it cute? It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know though, I think I'd rather have like the name. The name, the baby name? Yeah, than Mama, because it's just so general, but like Would it's- Would you not wear it with the Juju stack? It's almost yeah, too many names. Yeah, I mean, and this is like faded. Yeah, I'd probably. You feel like you need to be smaller? Okay, I'm trying on some Hunza GB bathing suits because everyone suggested them, and they have them here, so I can actually try it on. It's cute, I like the color. Funny in my boobs, though. No. It's cute. Like it'd be cool, like even pregnancy era. Yeah. And then post-pregnancy era, like summer, like right after the baby, it's summer. So. I know, right? And that's your I color, like raspberry. I love it. I know it's like this beautiful berry. I like color. the material is cool too. It is cool. I just don't know if those will fall down, but perfect for the belly. Oh man, she is looking large. That belly is getting out there. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with classic black. I love this color, but I feel like the top isn't quite as flattering, like the cut. This one fits really nicely, so I think I'm gonna do this one and can't go wrong with black. Popping into the real real. Danger zone. They've got a lot of pre-used like designer items. It is adorable. This is a really cool color. It has a beige, but this is like more of a taupe. And it's a really unique size. It's really cool. It's nice. almost like a mocha. Oh, it like literally matches my purse or my jacket. I like the shape of it. The top handle. It's kind of fun. So one Chanel. Little Salini, so cute, and this little Louis is so cute. I love it. It's cute. 
all brown tones, of course. And like, I realized I really like like warm tone things. Can't seem to stay away from them. Um, and I did find a dress that I thought was cute and like simple. I don't know if it's boring, so. If I don't want to buy like designer stuff pregnant, that's the only thing. It's like, it's not really worth it to me. Like I've been doing a lot of PLT and just like a little bit like less expensive stuff because I just don't know if I'm going to wear a ton of it after my pregnancy. So it's a hard gamble. All right, I found a dress I'm going to try on. It's by Totem, Totem. It's really simple, cream, long, like kind of high neck. But the material is like really good quality. So I feel like it's like a like a staple I'd have in my closet forever. So I want to try it on. I feel like it um, would be really pretty right now too while I'm pregnant. So I feel like it's really pretty for pregnancy. Um, but it definitely is like not the most forgiving. Like. Do you see how you can like see my like dimples and stuff? Obviously I could wear my Spanx and it'd probably look like really beautiful, but I'm also like, I have just like my skin stresses. Should I just like go with those? Um, I don't know. Man, this bump is getting larger and larger. It is so weird. I'm also just like tucked my bra down so I can't really tell, but I don't know. Not like incredible. Found a baby section. Cute as hell. Oh, little the sweat great, sets. Great the great little. I love it. Red, red and olive, and little fox. So cute. So. Cute. I mean, this is obviously like for. Like more of a toddler. You know, like a teenager. How <laughs> little can more toddler size? <laughs> It's phony. It's, it's like a pregnancy polo. I know. I gotta love all the kid stuff. I'm like, I just wanna have a room full of stuffed animals. No longer shopping for myself, I'm shopping for my son. You, Gina, getting ready for dinner. Getting ready for no boo. Did you get my makeup? What? Nothing. I like that you always find a little hidden room somewhere, some cove to do your makeup in. I like it's like my zen time. Where do we put the camera? Um, just finishing on my makeup. Did the normal. I like never really switch it up. Um, and I did a little bit more of the smoky eye tonight. Is it? There you go. Mascara. I have the cutest outfit to wear tonight. I love it so much. I found it on PLT. And I think it's gonna look like a really cute pregnant outfit. Um, anything fitted really like people are asking me how to find clothes that um, without like searching maternity and basically just like anything super fitted ends up looking really good because yeah it just shows off the bump so whether that's pants that are fitted um, dresses it always ends up looking the best I don't know why it just does it ends up like being the most flattering or else you kind of just feel large and in charge, but it well, looks pretty good and like just fresh. I just want it like fresh looking and I want it to look like too much. Okay, so that's done. And now we're going to get dressed. I do need to figure out whether I'm doing Spanx with my maternity outfit. Well, they're actually, um, are they Spanx? Not Spanx, Skimps. Maternity Skimps. Um, I brought those and I think I might need to wear them with this outfit so let me show you oh by the way let me do a little I'll show you what I ended up pick, picking the black Hunza G bathing suit today um, I didn't show the one shoulder top but it was way more of a flattering cut and I was like I don't know the other one the color was so pretty but the top just I didn't really end up liking it when I came out of the dressing room the sales girl was like yeah I tried that on the other day too and like I love the color but the top looked weird on me I was like yeah same so I'm glad to have made my first Hunza G purchase which is gonna be great and I thought that was good because I could buy that now and then it'll also be a really good baby boom staple so 
yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like a Hunza G bathing suit for your baby moon. A lot of you guys were asking for baby moon racks, like what to buy. I feel like a Hunza G bathing suit is good. And then I also got this perfume called Queens and Monsters by Henry Rose. Um, I don't know what it was, but when I walked in the store, I just loved the smell. I can't even really describe it. I don't know, but it's natural, so there's no like hormone disruptors in it. And it's just the best. It's, I don't know, it just smells like very high end. I've never really smelled anything like it. It was like really unique. So really excited about that. I love getting fragrances. I really wanted to get some sunglasses, but I didn't see any that I was obsessed with. Ended up trying on a ton of jewelry. And they had really pretty fine jewelry. So maybe found a little push present. We'll see. Um, okay, so here's my set for tonight literally like so inexpensive too so it's like flared pants which I always love that shape on me looks great looks pretty much good on everybody and then this little top and it just kind of scoops in the back beige obviously the material kind of feels like really soft jersey like skims vibes and I went up to a size uh, US 8 in the pants and a US 6 in the top so I think it comes in gray too but I need to see how it's gonna work out on the bod okay here's the set it really accentuates the bump um I talking to the camera I have my um, maternity skims on underneath just because it's like a little bit sheer everything fits different when you're pregnant you're like trying to like solve it the whole time you're like what is going on there but it's just because you got this big, large bowling ball. Let me see if I can get a better view in the lady's office. So, pretty cute. Flare bottoms, point toe pumps. I did some Lily Class silver hoops, and I think I want to tie my hair back. Let's see if I can tie Loose, messy pony, so I want to go really low. And just tie it, pull it, and then I just kind of want it over the side i feel like that looks cute the cheek i pulled my skims up like all the way because i feel like you kind of have to or else they start to like cut so it's fine because i feel like i can just pull this down and it's just like that but i think it's so pretty i mean pretty cute for the price and i feel like that's a cute little pony should i do a little no 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 don't do that Cute. And then I'll do my Bottega clutch, which is downstairs. And let's go. We're going to Nobu tonight. Sometimes I don't know where I come from. But in time, I'm gonna find where I'm from. It wastes days trying to shake this haze. Good morning. We fell off last night. What was everyone's Nobu experience? Good. Y'all love Nobu. It was good. Yeah. I feel, well, I feel like it's a place that we go when we're in town with y'all. Yeah. It's yeah. like a fun spot it's to go. And it's close. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Clay and I had a couple drinks. We drank like some grapefruit, 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 uh, grapefruit waters, I think. Water on the on the rocks. Yeah, grapefruit. There was a, there was a little bit of gin in there, I think. I loved it. The splash was good. Julie didn't have any. She, her and Dee went with the mocktail route. Oh yeah, the mocktails are fire, but the food is so good. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. It's I could eat that like style of food every night, like the sushi, like little bites, bites just yeah. like because you can have like a lot until you feel full. I mean, you don't eat it so fast that you're never like overindulging. I know. Yeah. I, I truly don't know if there's better sushi than, mm -hmm. than no. Nobu. Mm -hmm. no. It really is like elite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every dish, it's so good. Yeah. Anyways, what's the plan today? We're going to run a 5K. Clayton's put me through a 5K this morning. We're fitness girlies this morning. We're going to bar. We're going to bar. We're going to bar, and then y'all are doing 12, 3, 30 after? Yeah. You chill. Yeah. I did at 45 this morning. It was. It's funny, it was a new guy. And there's only four people in the class, so it was like really like just kind of like quiet. like a new trainer. Yeah, this is for um, day. Yeah. Oh yeah, the energy was like really low. It's kind of nice when there's a lot of people in the class because you get like a lot of energy hype. from yeah. everyone. <clears throat> totally. But anyway, it was fun. It's nice to try new studios. Yeah. And you can't beat one where it's like by the water. I know. It's like so pretty. Totally. And the weather's nice. But anyways, we're gonna go off for today. Adios, amigos. Bye. Fitness girlies are leaving the gym. 
We did 12 3 3rd. Well, we did bar class, and then, which was really hard, by the way, because I'm just so stuck in my F45 rhythm. Yeah. I was like, damn, that's a little muscle. But F45 is so hard, but. In a different, yeah, yeah like different, different muscles. Such a, yeah. Um, I could, like, barely hold any of this stuff. It was yeah. tough. I know, it's so hard. Um, and then we did 12 3 30 and I normally, like, 12 3 30 is so hard for me, but Delaney was like, just go on TikTok. It goes by so yeah. fast. <laughs> I just go on a little TikTok hole, and then I could 12 3 30 all day. <laughs> it literally, like, I feel like I blink and it was done yeah I'm like that's the T is it's the move yeah. yeah I mean I'm sure everyone already does that I'm like living under a rock no. but um yeah. and then we don't feel as bad that we're just like scrolling on TikTok because we're like no just like moving and passing the time whatever that's like my TikTok time totally and you can kind of like absorb the TikToks more like usually mm -hmm. TikTok I'll just like if I it doesn't catch me in the first five I let it just mm -hmm. scroll but you kind of just like want to let it play through a little yeah. bit to like feel like you're watching TV so I feel like it's kind of the same as like I can't just listen to a podcast but if I was driving for like a long time yes. I could listen to a podcast it's like dual like activity yeah and it makes you like zone out or totally. zone Totally more meditative. Um, yes. Yeah, so I feel so much better. I was feeling a little tired and that gave me a little boost of energy. Yes. And I think we're going to get pancakes. Are we going to go yes. home first? Um, no, we're just going to meet them there. Okay, we're going to get pancakes. We're going to get the best pancakes ever. You said they're like raspberry with cream. They're oh so my god, that sounds good. like a dream. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> so you guys want syrup and butter for your uh, pancakes? Yeah, yeah. sure. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that'd be great. Right, sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. That looks, what is that called again? This is called shirt eggs. Shirt eggs. It's so good. There's like eggs in there. A piece of toast. Crab Louie. Yummy. Finished up breakfast. It was delicious. So good. Best I'd pancake. recommend that place. I really talent. like that place. Some breakfast yeah. there. Pancakes were so good. The, the, uh, it's called plum. Potatoes. And the salad we got was really good. Mm, it was a everything crab was so Louie good. salad. Yeah. Mm. Um, but fun fact, my great aunt lives here, so we have connected with her and we're going to go stop by her house. She lives in Corona Del Mar and we're going to go pop in and say hi for a few minutes. Yeah. And then go home and... I've only met her a few times. Yeah. She's really sweet. Yeah, she's It's sweet. her dad's aunt. Yeah, so my great aunt, um, my dad's aunt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go check in with her, say hi, and then... We're doing a fun dinner tonight and Be pretty mellow. You're gonna get this, ready and stuff in a little bit. Yeah. The sun is out. Like we really <clears> didn't so get that beautiful. bad of weather. Um, even though we thought it was gonna be storming the whole time and Hunter and I are like, now we see why people are so happy here. Like oh, the sunshine. The sun is like Like just even this ugh. morning when I was running with Clayton, it's like out in the sun, just running and the sun's I hitting mean, you're sweating. Look a little at bit. it, look at that, it's freaking that beautiful. sunroof and like palm trees everywhere. I it's know. just like it was even cool just like world. running by like the sand and there's other runners out and it's like just I good know. weather and the palm trees and yeah. the marina and boardwalk and it's just like beautiful. Yeah. It's so nice. By the way, my calves and ankles are so sore from oh the run. God. On our mind too. Was it like the back of it, like the Achilles? kind of the, yeah? That's where mine was hurting. I think I'm in the wrong shoe. But it's also we're not. I'm not used to running, so it's kind of like a shock to your body when you do that, like running. Yeah. 3.2 miles or something like that. Whatever yeah. Whatever the 5k is, 3.1. Took a. It like shocks your body, and so now I'm, I think I'll be sore tomorrow. Yeah. But like you just gotta get used to it. When you first start running, I feel like it hurts your ankles. But I want to maybe add supplement some runs in to my. Routine. Routine. Yeah. Like maybe on like Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays when it's like a weight day. Yeah. Maybe twice a week or something. Just do totally. like three miles with Booker. Totally. Booker. Oh, I know. Booker. I miss him so much. I know. He's so cute. I saw your picture you posted on stories. Yeah. So cute. So sad. All right. Let's go say hi to Great Aunt Sally. Great Aunt Sally. My like literally her name, you guys. And she's my great aunt. How weird. All right. We're getting ready for dinner. Last night in... Newport. Well, we're actually going to Balboa Island for dinner. So, me and Dee are going to get ready together, do our makeup, and dress up a little bit. What are you going to wear? I don't know. What vibe are you feeling? Is it like dressy? Well, I guess not really. It's like cute it's like and you vibey. Can. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like fancy. Yeah. Um, my neck is just like so messed up. Oh, it's, it's just one scrub over. It probably I is know. fine, but you're just, it's like. I know. But it then like, it messes up everything. Yeah, and then I have to redo my whole tan. I know. And like right when I put it on, it was messed up because it was like already flaking my skin. It's the worst. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, how often do you usually tan per week? Like once a week or every other? Mm, I think it's like every 10 days or so. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe a little bit more sometimes. Yeah. 
In the winter, I feel like you get away with it a little bit more. Cause you yeah, don't like outside as much. Doing things. Yes, I don't know anymore. Delaney has been filling me in on the Haley Bieber, oh, yeah. Selena Gomez to you guys, which I don't know why I've been. I was telling her I've been going on my um, following page a lot for TikTok and not yeah. being on the Discover page, but she said her whole Discover feed is the drama. Yeah, it's literally every single freaking video. And we can't decide what to believe, right? I mean, I feel like there's nothing saying, everything says the same thing. <laughs> yeah, nothing pointing yeah. towards Haley's favor, we'll put it that way, right? Yeah. Um, which obviously we don't know shit, but. And then there is like some things that kind of allude to Selena confirming Right. a little bit so then i'm like oh because you don't want to like dabble in people's business and then we're just completely making it up as the public and it doesn't even exist but then it's like is she kind of confirming it right like commenting on right like people's things i'm not even trying to be that invested but right. it's literally just it does make you, my, it, yeah it's like you can't avoid it yeah i'm like okay this is the only thing that is on my tiktok so i guess i have to have, have an opinion, have to think like, about it. I'm in it, in it. Well, um, also, I saw today, and I know this isn't like probably directly related to that, but it is in the same sphere. Um, yeah. Justin canceled his tour, really? Yeah, um, what concealer is that? It's the best skin ever from Sephora, oh, it's yeah. really nice, it's like really thin. It looks nice, it blends really easy. I really like it. So, you use our foundation too, yes, I do. Um, you More when I'm like, I go through phases. Right now I'm yeah. in a Giorgio Armani phase for dinners. Luminous silk, But yeah. during the day I do CC, a cosmetic CC cream. Yeah. I don't know. It's like always been a staple. Yes. I love it. What foundations are you on right now? The Luminous Silk. Yep. Um, I also like the House Lash. Oh, I've, I've heard, heard it's so that. good. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. And I actually like all of the House Lab stuff. This is a bronzer I really like too. That's, um, is it Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga, yeah. yeah. Of course. Um, I always love the YSL skin tint. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen you put that on. She's a sleigh for like a casual. Like a day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, have you tried the NARS light reflecting? No, but I really, really want to. Everyone, really and good. it looks really natural. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try that. Definitely. There's so many good ones. I know. Can't keep up. I went through like a non makeup phase where I was not doing a lot of makeup and then I've recently like gone back into like doing it every day. Yeah. So Yeah, I, when I got my fun. heel I couldn't do any makeup for like three days and I was like so sad. Oh yeah, wait, so I was gonna ask you about that. Um the cool laser? Um cool peel, yeah, cool, cool peel, peel okay. laser. So it wasn't like a hot laser. It is yeah, I don't know why it's called cool peel because it's it is. Oh hot. it is a hot yeah. 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 And did you get like the charred face? Um, no, it makes your skin feel like sandpaper after. Okay. It like, and then it just like kind of flakes off. It's basically like any peel, I feel like, where they're just like, um, kind of removing the superficial layer of skin and then yeah, revealing that underneath. new fresh layer of skin underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really fresh and new. Yeah. And just like baby's, baby's bottom, bottom yeah. basically. Yeah. Have you ever done laser hair removal? Yeah. Is that worth it? I did it in high school. It was you so did? Long. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Has it, like, I feel like stayed? the technology is so much better now. Yeah. It, like, hurt way more than, than it does now. I'm really? Sure. Yeah. Has it stayed? Or you? Yeah, sure? pretty good. Wow. Yeah. I feel like I could get, like, a little touch-up, but... Yeah, you can refresh. Yeah, I liked it. I, I was like, it's worth it. I think I should probably do that. Because I could just really minimize the time. Yeah. It depends, like, what your hair is like, too. Like, my underarm hair was really, like, coarse. And, like, yeah. I feel like it never shaved that smoothly. Yeah. Whereas, like, some of my friends would shave their underarms and it would just be so smooth. I'm like, oh, I don't feel like you guys really need would it. need this. Yeah, but for yeah. me, I was like, oh, this is so nice because I don't have these, like chunky black hairs coming out of my armpit. <laughs> yeah. No, well, I feel like my, uh, like, Spanish heritage makes my, my hair's, like, dark and thick. Yeah. Most places. Yeah. Like, and I feel like it's nice for the bikini because yes. I remember before I had it, I would be, like, um, so nervous, like. It, well, that's, it's, like, such an inconvenience. Going to the beach. Yes. Yeah. And, like, oh, my God, like, I need to shave or I know. whatever. And I'd be, like, all stressed out. Ooh, is this the new... 
Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah. yeah. But it's matte. Sometimes I wish it was like a little bit more glowy. Oh, yeah. Um, I've seen that all over TikTok. Like sometimes they feel a little dry with yeah. it, but it's fine. I just need a good set. The other spray. one is so glowy. Like yeah, the original yeah, or whatever. Maybe yeah, something like right in between. I wish those, like, I wish they came in a different container shape or something. Yeah, I because know. I feel like it's kind of not the best um like distribution of product and no then, like you don't get enough product and then it runs out totally it's a hard but i do here. like their stuff i know i like all of our products they're pretty good i think we're gonna hop over to delaney's channel and do a little yes. q a so you guys want to go check that out and we'll be right back gonna we're gonna Juge do some outfits next yeah yeah you're gonna ask you some juicy Pregnancy question. Oh, on pregnant my tea. <laughs> Picking my pregnant friend's brain. Love it. <laughs> Makeup is done. Looks pretty snatched tonight, actually. I think I'm gonna do a skim stress tonight. Can't go wrong. It's like we're getting to that point, guys, where we're really getting limited down in the wardrobe options. So classic ribbed skim stress. I'm gonna do maternity skins underneath. You don't have to, but I just feel a little bit more together with the um, the skins underneath. Got the skins dress on. I think hey. I'm gonna do some jewelry. Lainey's doing a red moment. So cute. I love like the bump in a tight dress. I know it's actually sort of fun. It looks so cute. I definitely feel like tighter things. Is the or way is to go. Better. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a little bit more of a interesting situation when you have different shapes going yeah. on. So fit it. I also just, like, like the crop top, like just like belly out. Oh, yeah. for sure. Like, I'm like, I know. This is a vibe. I know. I think like once my bump gets a little bit bigger, yeah. Then I'll like do more of that. Yeah. Because until it gets like really big. Sometimes like, it can kind of sometimes look like just a gut. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it just it. depends. Um, <laughs> so I just have to be careful. <laughs> I'm like, no, I am pregnant. Just so it's you know. like I feel like bumps are like funny like that. Even sometimes yes. when I meet people, I'm like, are they pregnant? I don't know. I know and you, you don't, don't want to like ask. ask. Yeah, you don't want to assume. I know, and it depends. Like everyone kind of like carries it differently. Yeah, um, and so I feel like in those work. situations, people have to sometimes like like say it themselves like the totally. other day a girl i was talking to I, I like wasn't sure but i was pretty sure but i wasn't gonna say anything <laughs> yeah and so then she was like yeah you know like i'm expecting and she like rubbed her stomach and oh, I'm like, you're oh like, thank oh, god you said that because i'm like huh, i know I you never really tell. know you don't want to be that person no that's for sure i know a guy asked me at the gym or he came up to hunter and i he was like are you guys expecting and his and friend you were i know his friend was like he was so nervous to us that and i was like yes we are but he had like seen me before because we yeah. work out together so i was like you're fine but yeah yeah i could see that's you have to be pretty careful with that yeah it's just tricky can i try that your doocy london jacket with this yeah i was thinking that could be cute That'd be really cute. I need to put my hair in a bun, actually. And then maybe just like the Adidas. Yeah. But yeah, I'm super, super cute. casual. I love that. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I like it. It's such a good jacket. You want to grab the Adidas really quick, but I like this. Yeah, that looks really cute. Okay, I think I just want to be comfy, so I'm going to try on these, which, um, I've been borrowing of Lainey's while I've been here and I because I've been wanting these Adidas Sambas whatever they're called for a while and I just haven't gotten around to ordering them I don't know why but she's let me wear them this trip and I think I'm definitely ready to purchase yeah. because they're really good they're shoes. just a good classic yeah. so cute okay yeah that's cute I like it Casual sneaks, skims dress, and her jacket is from Juicy London. Really pretty. So good. Um, I have some Lily clasp necklaces on. I'm gonna layer a couple more. And I think I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun. I'm gonna put my hair up in some way. I like only like my hair up these days. Your hair looks so good up. Well, it looks good down too, but you really pull off that like. I never like it up. I mean, I don't really like it down. You never like it down. It looks good today, down. 
You just don't feel as like confident. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I can't decide if I should wear like red yeah. on red or I have this mm. color, which is also kind of nice. Or I have black because I'm probably going to wear black heels. That might tie it. Yeah, I was going to say what shoes yeah. I'm wearing. They cover my neck. Oh. <laughs> She got a laser done, and then, um, like, after you get a laser, obviously, you kind of, like, peel a little bit. Yeah. So, her tan is, like, coming off. So. Yeah, my neck just looks like You've been crazy. wearing neck accessories. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been wearing these little, like, scarves. But yeah. you pulled them off. They look really cute on you. Look at their, their in style. Yeah. This one looks, like, a little bit more like the You've already seen my look. Here it is. Skims dress and Delaney's jacket and shoes. And her look is way more fun. No. <laughs> I can't. It's really chaotic. The corset and like with this belly is stressing me out. Yeah. I'm like I can't like, but no. it looks so good on you. Um, I'm wearing little low rise jeans. I ditched the red blazer because I wanted to wear something that covered my neck and that had like a belt that had a little tie on it too and I was like yeah. this is too much. Strange. So the necklace took priority over the blazer. Pretty. We went to strapless instead so that meow. meow oh yeah. those are so nice so good yeah, um good. and then this little cropped blazer because i'm gonna be cold it's honestly way cuter with nothing but you can take it off though yeah yeah and cute. then these are from naked these little shoes those look like i mean i'm Lottie. really yeah like the heel the, the oh yeah the, i thought they were oh no yeah they're cute. she's a dupe girly yeah um yeah my little tour bag cute we're kind of matching actually i know I like it color tones yeah 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 because this is like kind of brown it totally yeah cute we gotta take a pic Yay. anyways thanks for getting ready with us yes and we're gonna head to dinner hunty's just finishing getting ready are you wearing a new belt no no this is my the one i got when we were traveling oh this nice is the first one i got Bottega it's a black belt. one and i got a brown one today we went to I, bottega today we didn't yeah. have the camera with us but but um, first classes. I wanted a brown one because I just want like a good like solid brown belt to wear yeah. with slacks and stuff for nice occasions. Brown and black. I always end up wearing like the leather brown belt that I wear just regular with jeans. When yeah. I wear slacks and dressier clothes, I want something a little bit more put together. Totally. So I sense. like this one so much that I got the brown one as well. You look fun. I need you my golf pants. Wait, those look so good. <laughs> what do you mean? They just look like they look so, nice. They're like, just like soft and comfortable. And they look good with the boots. Thanks. Yeah. All right, let's get Hunter's fit check. Yeah, these these are actually golf pants. Huh? We said that a second ago. I brought these because I'm playing golf in Palm Springs, and I didn't want to wear my black like suit slacks that I'm wearing to the wedding. Yeah, so but those these. look like really good for dinner actually. Boots actually, these are Nakona boots. This is a collusion button down. Cute. Oversized, and then the Madewell denim. denim jacket. The Madewell That's denim it. come through. Coming through. Coming in hot. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Besides breakfast or coffee tomorrow this is probably it for our food tour yeah. right it's basil okay. lake let's go what's up people i'm bed just got in bed we're sleepy it's only night. like 9 30. i know but it's raining it's so soothing all the rain's fast um dinner was really good it was so good we the place was called basil lake or yeah. basilic or basilic in balboa island yeah, it was really, really good. It was so cute. It felt like you were in Europe. It was like Swiss French food. Yeah. It was yummy. And then we got some frozen yogurt after at Golden Spoon. Like, anyways. Love you. We're headed to Palm Springs tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to take a breather from vlogging while we're there. Just because we're with like, my parents. It's going to be like parent stuff. <laughs> but you did, you did film your... Um, Hall of vacation stuff. Yeah, vacation all coming next. So we'll all the stuff that. I bought for like Palm Springs and like this trip and stuff. So we'll probably post that in a couple of days. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. But we love you guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Y'all know we enjoy hanging out with Delaney Clayton. It's been a while. 
Yeah. But um, it's always right. fun, like, getting to spend time with them. And we didn't vlog as much just because we hadn't hung out in a while and wanted to, like, spend a little bit more time yeah. with friends. Yeah. But anyways, we love you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye.